everyone welcome back to MathHub gh on fluid dynamics in today's video we are going to solve a question under flow in pipes specifically under head loss and we have the question on the board here if today is the first time or this is the first video you are watching i would like you to subscribe to the channel to support our video and also share to your colleagues. So let's move back to the question. The question we are to determine the head loss in the expansion section and also the pressure in the larger diameter pipe. So this question is a, an expansion question. We have contraction, we also have expansion, but this is under the expansion section. And we have a diameter of a horizontal water pipe and it expands gradually to nine centimeter diameter pipe and the walls of the expansion section are angled 30 degrees from the horizontal and also we have the velocities and the pressure to be seven meters per second and 150 kilopascal respectively We've been given our loss coefficient to be 0 0.07, and we are to determine the head loss of this. So this coefficient, this loss coefficient is a minor loss. So to calculate for the head loss, which specifically we are calculating for the minor loss, we know the formula to be HL equal to KL V squared over 2G. This is the formula to calculate for the head loss for a minor or the a minor loss. So we know our KL, which is 0 0.7, which is the same as the resistance coefficient or the loss coefficient. We know our velocity, that's V1, to be 0 0.7. 0 0.0 or 7 meters per second and we know our acceleration due to gravity so this shouldn't take us more time to solve it so we then compute our figures into this expression but before that you know we have to put out our assumptions and since it's water we assume it's incompressible and we also assume it's a steady flow process and for this type of question, we also take the, the pipe to be fully developed, so fully developed flow. So let's um, go ahead and solve the question. So for the head loss, we have the key L to be 0 0.7 times the velocity, which is 7 squared over 2G, which the G was or it's zero, um, 9.81. And this is going to give us 175 centimeters or 0 0.175 meters. So this is going to be our head loss for the first aspect of the question. The second aspect of the question demands us to find for our pressure in the larger diameter or the larger pipe so we know that expansion it means it's from a, a smaller diameter to a larger diameter as it says here that the smaller diameter is six centimeters and the larger diameter is nine centimeters so we can draw a sketch of it so let's say something like this Let's assume something like this. This is our point one. This is our point number two. And our point one is the smaller diameter, which is six centimeters, so six cm. And also, let me clean this side. We are done with this. And also, we've been given the pressure 
at the inlet side, which is 150 kilopascal. And we've been given the diameter at the outlet, that's nine centimeters. And we are to find for P2. This is what we are to find for. So as I earlier stated, I gave the assumptions. We also have to know that in this, in this, in this question, we conserve mass. So using the conservation of mass, we, we know that the conservation of mass as M1 dot should be equal to M2 dots. Or the mass flow rate in the inlet should be equal to the mass flow rate at the outlet. And we know that this is the same as rho AV. So like this and rho A2 V2. So we know this, but since we are dealing with what cancel out, the densities are going to be the same. There is no change in density. So it's there will be change in area. So there will be change in area. We want to find for our second velocity before we would be before we write our equation. That's the Bernoulli's equation involving the head losses and also the pump. So to find for our V2, we know that V2 is going to be equal to V1 A1 over A2. But we know that the area of a circle is pi d squared over 4. So inputting or putting this into this equation, we are going to get V2 to be equal to V1 d1 squared over d2 squared. So let's put in our values. We know our V1 to be 7. So 7 times the distance, or sorry, the diameter, which is 0 0.06 squared all over 0 0.09 squared. And this is going to give us a velocity of 3.11 meters per second so we have this velocity here now let's write our general equation which would aid us or help us solve the pressure outlet or the pressure at the larger side now in Bernoulli's equation we know that we have p1 over rho g plus v2 v1 squared over 2g alpha which is the correction factor since we are dealing with losses we need to um, add the correction factor there plus z1 plus the h pump equal to p2 over rho g plus alpha v2 squared over 2g plus z2 plus the h for the turbine plus our minor loss that's hl so this is going to be our general equation so now we are supposed to find for the P2, but we know in this typical question or this type of question, our Z1 is equal to our Z2. Since we are not giving any information about that, the Z1 and Z2 are going to be equal. So we have Z1 equal to Z2. And also, since we're not giving any information about our pump and also turbine, we assume they are not they are not there. So the pump is going to be zero. Turbine is also going to be zero. So this is what we have now.
So we have our P1 over rho G plus alpha V1 squared over 2G equal to P2 over rho G plus alpha V2 squared over 2G plus the head loss, which we found earlier. So we have this. So we, we just make the P2 the subjects. We just make the P2 the subjects now. So this is going to give us P2 over rho G equal to P1 over rho G plus, let's put this into the bracket, that's alpha V1 squared minus V2 squared all over 2G minus HL. So we come and multiply the whole equation by the rho g we have here. So we are going to get P2 equal to P1. So this would go. So P1 plus rho g multiplying alpha V1 squared minus V2 squared over 2g. Then close brackets, minus HL multiplied by rho G. So this is what we are going to, to get. So now, since we, we, are, we are solving or we are dealing with an expansion section and we took the, the flow to be a fully developed flow, we are going to assume our alpha to be in the ranges of 1.04 to 1.11. That's the range for alpha for turbulent flow. And for, so this for turbulent flow. And for laminar flow, our alpha is going to be 2. So we are going to use this. So any range between this is going to be right. So I'm going to assume my alpha. So we have to state it there. So you assume, see, assume. Okay, let me write this down here. So you assume alpha to be equal to 1.05 for a fully developed flow. For a fully developed flow. So I come out now, come and put in all the necessary parameters into the equation to find for my P2. So P2 is going to be equal to, we have 150 kilopascal for the P1 kilopascal. So let's put times 10 to the power 3 plus, we know our rho to be 1000 since it's water times 9.81. This multiplying the expression. 1.05 multiplied by, sorry, this is supposed to be in a bracket so that it multiplies everything here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. So the 1.05 multiplied by the velocity is thus seven squared minus the second velocity we found that was 3.11 also squared. And this expression all over two times 9.18. Then this minus the head loss, that's the minor loss, which we found to be 0 0.175 
meters so times the acceleration due to gravity and the density so after doing your computation you are going to get your pressure to be around 169 kilo pascal that's the pressure at the larger diameter although they were losses the losses were not that that much so this how we go about this question under the flow in pipe hope you enjoy this video